It's Kurt with Roadside Guy. We appreciate you tuning into the channel. Today we're going to go across the bridge into Largo, Florida and take a look at a motion performance uh, Corvette. There's a guy uh, got one up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. It's supposed to be a real car, it's supposed to be a, a matching numbers uh, motion performance 427 69 Corvette. So uh, come with me across the bridge and we'll take a look and see what uh, this car has got to offer. If it's a good car, I'm going to buy it. If it's not a good car, I'm not going to buy it. So let's go take a look at it and see what we can get. came here to affordable aluminum in Largo to check out this car. Come inside and check it out with me. Okay. I'm a storage. Yeah. So John, when did John, when did you get the car? I've had it for quite a few years now. Does it have any uh, paperwork or any I got documentation? A things that I was looking for and looking at and trying to get everything straight and on the damn thing. Just one thing after another. Yeah, yeah. But I got, as far as that, I have no idea. I had a guy that was... Take your time. That's what I've got. Okay. And I have no idea. I've got the guys that have looked at it, you know, before for me. You work on Corvettes then or whatever? Yeah, yeah. I've got a, a few cars myself and okay. I'm into the Baldwin cars. So, you are. Okay. so when I saw this one, I was very, very interested right off of the bat. Um, does have the inverted fin. Oh, really? Right. Right. The Indy, the the Indy car fill. It's got the four. No. Or formula. It's What's four. it? But it's a big difference. Is the four. Oh, the four. Got it. Only are put on Baldwin's. Oh. But again, I've been trying. I've been back and forth in this, and now I've just got to a point where I just said, "What the hell was it?" Of what? Trying to get it documented and verified. You know, Joel Rosen lives in the area. And he wants two thousand dollars. Uh, yeah, I heard he does charge for that stuff. He just wants the money. Yeah. So I met the guy that worked for him up in Long Island for five years. It was a guy and everything else, and he's the one that told this and this was only sold for the ball. Right. Yeah, I never seen. Right, yeah, they had a, a mail order thing or something you could order. When he saw this, he said, I cut that in. Oh, really? So, so he he, he specifically door, remembers that door. Well, he remembers these doors with that cut, you know, that type of a thing and how it was done. So and this cut know, here yes. is specific to a Baldwin car. Yes. Well, okay. again, anybody can do it. Anybody could do it, but, anybody I mean, he's it. the guy that cut the okay. hole, so he would know, he right? He remembered the color, the purple and the orange. Right. So... No doubt about that. He said that was the type of thing. But anybody could have done it. 
Right. Okay, all those little idiot things like on the, on the, the gauges over there on the bottom, uh -huh. those were all the things that he put on. But again, anybody can put them on. Like that tack. So it's like all the different things that they can do, you know, like that. What's this? Was that for like a cell phone or something? No, they didn't have cell phones back Well, I know, but maybe somebody maybe since then. On, right. Well, That's what it kind of looked like. It hasn't been run now. It came out of a barn, you know, from way to hell back. Right. And that door over there was changed. And you can see the difference. And that too. All of these things were the things that they put in back then. Right. So, uh, it, it, it has the original again, key. So this door wasn't cut because it was replaced during an accident. Yes. So that door was changed, he said, and the front end changed a bit too. And then he said that they would have had the the front end like this. So the only thing is that they would have had the plastic across the um, all that. Um, that piece would be really good. Seventy-nine thousand. It looks like it was a original citrus green car. I, I don't know. Then that's just that. Okay, now I don't know because I got the other T top that would have been on this. Uh huh. And this was brought back. It's a one that's all plexiglass. Right. It's in the trailer. All the other parts are in the trailer. Right so there's a one piece top. Okay. Everything. Anybody can get that too. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. The, the wheels would have been in the that. Well, they were in that era. There's no doubt. Right. So I have no idea. Don't believe a damn word he said. <laughs> Let's take a look at this rear end and suspension under here. And it's somewhat of a it's somewhat of a Corvette. It used to be one. Yeah. I called your other guy today. Let's see if we call Boy, that's got to be the smallest sway bar I've ever seen in my life. That's not even as thick as my finger. What's that? The sway bar back here. I've never seen a sway bar so thin in my life. No, no, no. It's got the other one in there. It's got the other one that goes here too. Right. right. Well, that one there. They add this one to it oh, okay. for some reason, yeah. right? I mean, but I've, I have I'm no sure idea. it works for something, but no so idea. Here's. But I got all the rest of the stuff. It's got the heavy duty springs. It's got the heavy duty rear end. But again, and then again, any uh, 427 would have had probably the, you know, the no, but they would have been a 350. Right. And then right. He changed, and he would he swap it, it, it out for the 427. Now the 427, I got all the stuff on that too. Okay. And um, no idea, you know, as far as that. It's also got the Baldwin uh, valve covers. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. You That's got over at my house. Oh, the motor is. Okay. And I got the other stuff in the, in the garage. And then the 69, it had other seats that somebody else changed them out. Right. I bought the 69 seats now. No, I think I got it for these. These are 69. It's a wow. You know that. That's all that stuff is working today in Russell. So the, and, okay, and then the back here too. Okay. Um, see how they, they did all that? The carpet, they did all the crap in there. And right. You see the speakers really back there? That again was his job. To put the speakers back in there. In the sides there? The gentleman that you met in. What's okay. the gentleman's name? Gary. Gary? The brush? The painter? No, he was, oh, okay. he was that. He ended up being a photographer afterwards. You know, he went doing that during college. Oh. So he had five years. Of, you know, everything was situated. Everything was ready to go meet Joe and go down there with him because now he was just trying to help me. He was really, really, really being nice. Right. Had a brain tumor. Hmm? Brain tumor. One of yeah. these are you did? He did. He got a brain tumor and died. And died? The, oh, the Gary? The Gary. Damn. One month. I know it. That was it. That's the people. It's always the good ones that go, isn't it? Isn't it? You know? Whatever. You know? All of these, you know, that part of it too. Okay, it's got the alarm system that was an extra put on too. All right, let's move this off of there. And let's take a, a look at, at this front. This is the front cover. Then it had plexiglasses in here. Right. And those are long gone, I'm sure, right? Yeah. They always got broken, lost. How about the rest of the cars nowadays? Right. Right. Does the, can we lift the hood and take a look at the engine bay? Look how many horsepower it has, John. Yeah, I know it. If we put a horse in there, we'd have one horsepower. Okay. You said this is a power steering car? Did you tell me that? I don't know. 
I don't remember. You told me it wouldn't have had it, would it? You told me it was a power steering car. No, it doesn't. I don't think it did, because it, no, it, it would have had the it all the power power steering. No, and no. they wouldn't have had it because... Anything to take horsepower while it was stripped off these cars, want. you're right. Well, they did have a few that had Wait, air condition. Yeah, 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 the alarm system? Yeah. What's that? The alarm system yet? The alarm that's system. And that's, so it was part of the time that he said... Yeah, Let me come over and see if I could take a look at that. And then if you look at the door, they're French in the doors. The alarm system switches. Oh, okay. That's and what see, he did even back in 76, they had that. I see. I don't know what year they started. There we go. All right, so there's the... Factory Baldwin alarm system. No, no. <laughs> don't know. Yeah, right. Don't know. It has a horn just above it. And the wiring into it. And of course, the fence turned. And then he did. Then another thing that they saw. These things, remember that. Okay, so you'd have known this big time how they were. And the DOT gave them shit to get them off. Right. Okay. This one here, if you take it off, it's got the shavings in it yet where they drilled it. Because he pulled it off. He says, pull that thing off for me. And I lift it off and he says, you see this? See there? We drilled them. We were not supposed to use them. This is one that would have been. So that's an original light as far as Gary is concerned. Yes, but again... Anybody could have drilled them. Anybody could drill them. Right, so... See, everything's, I gotta get the, you know, the, the difference was back and forth, and I've been right. on it, and on for you know, quite a few years trying, you know, mm -hmm. but I wanna know what the hell. Everybody's curious, had, right? The other guy had a picture of Baldwin and him. Here's a name. They made it free right. put your tail wheel in the back. A, had a picture of uh, and, oh and uh, Joel Rosen right and you said you've owned the car for several years and you got it out of a barn yeah and this was in Florida okay and it was up by uh, right and it was back and forth you know no, you hold down like, the stick to you how full air speed the engine the only thing the i can say is the 427 the trailer engine, start rebuilt it. but you know they take them in the ball and, and they wait for snow to land it in the grass the runway right right and, and it's got a free and then they take them over the hangar for wheels on really that's odd Really? So a lot of times you check the rest of them. They got a four barrel. They got this. Okay, it could have been changed. I don't want to do that. Because I guess the runway lights are trash. What if things going 60, 70 miles an hour? These are things you don't know until you start digging into the culture of cars and start peeling back the layers of history, right? It was all here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just got a text and, uh, from that says he's Even the other guy that came to look at it, he still hasn't made any decisions on the one way or the other. Right. Um, but he said, oh, there's, there's no doubt about the back end. He says that was he done said, and the way it was designed, designed and everything else like that. He says that, that was their work. But, he's probably made a long distance, again, uh, issue and he still hasn't the made The only, the only way anybody will ever put the stamp on it is if you give Joel $2,000. And, you know, there was, okay, there's 10 of them, right? Yeah, cars, right. 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 Or, but the big and the thing is not. It's, it's now, not worth in a wreck, the project. You know, all the stuff. No, but it's on the market. Yeah, 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 all the tags are missing. You know, you got to Right, so is there a vent on this one? The vent is here. Yep. Okay. Uh, up here. Right, okay. yeah, right there, yep. All right, so we've got. Vin number 194379S728571. 194879S728571. All right. You can see it there well enough. Right. Yeah, that does help. Okay. okay, and you were saying about the other uh, stuff? Um, the other tags? Yeah, oh, the tags are missing. Okay. The other tags that were found, they take them off and they put rivets in them. And there's no, uh, the only thing. and you didn't find any Baldwin motion, like plaques, you know how they yeah, would put the stick? Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay.
Because they don't repop those. <laughs> Joel, Joel won't let that happen. He's yeah, he he's not in favor of repopping any of his badges. I don't even know anymore. Right. I'm at a point where I just said, oh well. So you you're done with the car now. You know, keep on saying I've got the other cars. I got a bunch of other cars too. There's that Right. That's a beautiful '55. But I got a bunch. Oh, do you? Well, you must have some really nice Corvettes if you're letting this one go. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah, banging your door up against your RV there. Hey, we throw in a 49 truck with it. Oh, is that the one in the back there? Yeah, that's my son's. That's a chop top 49 with a 347 stroker in it. Are you guys emptying out the uh, unit? What's that? You guys emptying out this unit? No. Uh oh. No, trust me, he'll never park with that truck. That truck won every car show it ever was in. Right. It's somewhere near sick. And it's won a lot back there lately. It's napping. Years. It's been napping 10 years back there. Yeah, 10 uh, years. Uh, 10 years on the shelf. 11,000 RPM small block in it. You should hear that thing sing up. Man, that thing's sick. And it's got a 300 shot of nitrous. When you get out of the hole, you push the button, you go back in a ditch again. Uh, this thing's psycho. Yeah. yeah it's Sounds like a fun toy. We'll get it going. Hey, I'm gonna bar can I borrow this? What pet cage? Should I borrow this? Yeah, one can break it Purple here. Definitely got some crack in here. The door seal looks kind of original there. He said this door, this side was hit, so this door was replaced. I don't know, what do you guys think? Drop me a comment down there. Tell me if you think it's a real bald one motion Corvette, one of ten made. Let's take a look under here. So far, do you think it's a bald one or no? Oh, man. It's really... Okay. It is a bald one. There's no doubt about it. It's a bald one. But who originally it? Have you traced the VIN number back to find out it was sold at Baldwin Chevrolet? That has been a problem, too. Right. Because of all Right. Yeah, but you see the purple paint on this thing? And it's lacquer. Right. And if you look at the other side, you can see the two colors that it had. And it's the original paint on the car. It definitely has a lot of things that say it's a Baldwin car. The louvers, the gas fill tank, the purple paint, the alarm system, the inverted uh, louvers on the fender. Yeah, the the front bumper and, and hood, the tail lights, and of course how it's molded in. It's definitely uh, yeah. somebody did something. if it's not a Baldwin car, somebody copied it a long time ago. Yeah. They didn't copy it no. 90s or recent, no. yeah, right? It had to be a copy from 80s or beyond, they right? They said they never sold this louver. Right. So a guy would have had to have a wrecked Baldwin to pull that one off of. Yeah. If he you know, if he turned be, this yeah, one. Right. Right. It, the, the purple paint's on the whole. I mean, if you go look through the primer, mm -hmm. in a few areas they primered over oh, the paint. You see the purple paint? Should have sanded off. Right. There's purple paint under that primer that they put primer over top of it. So the paint was on the body, and the paint's in the door jam like the original paint. So her ass is original. Okay. So, so the rest of her is. So five have been found, right? Seven. Seven have been found. That's right. I Seven have been off. found. So that that would only leave three left. Was one of the three purple? I looked and I can't find a picture of a purple one. Now you talk to the guy that painted them. He said he painted this. I thing. sure wish Joel was was more of a car guy than he is. It really breaks my heart because 
he's the guy that started all this. And instead of being transparent and open and talking to everybody before he passes away one day and letting his legacy grow even bigger, he does things like charge you to verify your car. Jesus Christ, Joel, there was only 10 made. There's only three not verified. Verify the car and, and let somebody enjoy restoring it or let this thing become something else. Right. Right. Keep the legend going. Don't charge people an arm and a leg to come look. It's through Joel. And he lives 30 minutes away. Yeah. It's right down the road. He wants two grand to verify cars. Or, right. To be bothered, basically. Because he would rather build, he builds model airplanes and, and, uh, and little, uh, uh, naval ships. And, yeah, that's what he's been doing since he quit the car scene. I swear to God, he owns a shop doing it. I don't know if he still does that now. And who in the hell else back then would paint it purple? Right. It wasn't a very popular because color unless your name was Prince. It was orange and purple before walk. And see here it's got it on the door. Right. And on the frame. And there you see here. You told me, John, that door has that cut out in it. See that circle cut out in the door? Right. Yeah. What's what's odd is we've got gold here orange purple and then up here we've got what looks like no but it's the metal frame behind the t-top is is a citrus green i have a citrus green uh 70 camaro so i know that color well and that's it's not a baldwin car the one that i have but i'm turning it into a baldwin clone which joel's gonna hate because he hates clones i know that but yeah it's like that's a green there it looks like Unless I'm mistaken and it's that gold and just the, the I shade. Mostly was a gold that I noticed inside the whole thing was painted. Kind of do you have a flashlight on your phone? Yeah, Here. I do. Let's see if we can Where flashlight that just to see what color that is. I can't see. It. Yeah, it's gold. It's the gold. And I know they did that with it, you know, this here interior. And then he had... They, had but they put that big ass stripe across the back too, right here. Right, Gary the brush uh, had that stripe. It came around here and then came here, and then they would have a few, a few little. Uh... Well, they should have sanded it down to see. You can always right take some thinner, and because if you had any kind of a, if you had the original markings on there, that would add to the credibility of the car. Yes and no. <laughs> yes and no, right? Because. Because anybody could paint it. But here's the thing. Here's a fact. Nobody was faking motion performance cars beyond, say, 10 years ago, right? Because nobody knew enough about the history to clone one of them. So if you were to remove the primer on here and find the, the paint how it's supposed to be, that definitely would say, right, because who would have faked it 20 years ago when that paint was was laid on there oh yeah there's the purple see the purple mm -hmm. it's under there they sprayed over it i bet you can find the paint scheme on this car Filler or something. Yeah. Somebody probably didn't See want it to black, rust. It's a black. Yeah. It's <laughs> always that fun in a Corvette. The stripe shows. <laughs> it's so purple. You can see through it. It'd be better to see black right there than purple. I don't know. There's enough primer on there. We'll be here all fucking day. Right. As thin as can be where I got through it. John, there's sandpaper right there. Yeah, yeah I might have to Freaking grab sand some sand thousand sand grit. Right, uh, right there on the toolbox. But it definitely did show some purple through here as well, but you can see it's been sanded on. A little bit.
purple sandpaper? Yeah. yeah. For the purple paint it's job? Purple car. It's a color matte sandpaper. There we go. Wow, that's all like the gel coat. Doesn't that look green or something? Yeah, there's the purple right there starting at the edge of the gel coat. You see it? Right. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that was black. Let me see your black there, you see it on the edge? I know it's I am thinking is that black is what I'm wondering. Yep, it see. is. Uh, yeah, it primer. Ooh, look at that. But they're black. What else is under there? I don't know if see the purple. And they mm -hmm. never made a purple Corvette, so. Yeah, I don't think that was a factory color in 69. Yeah. Too cool. That would have been like the... Uh, can we, yeah, can we get something? Some of the... Let's go, like, here and see if there's anything. Because I think they probably would have sanded here. But maybe they would have not have gotten the black off of the top there. Cool. Right. Oh, it's cutting through there. All right, and then all right, yeah, and then wipe that. Try that off all right, let me do it. That's freaking black. It sure is. <laughs> Look at that right down there. That is freaking black right there, dude. Yes, it is. Hell yeah, oh. dude. Yeah. That adds to the to the validity of the uh, car right there for sure. Definitely does. Damn. Wonder where the hell they said he, he you know that that Gary that friend or that you know the guy that passed away was telling me how they designed this with that orange well different colors mm -hmm. and then they swirled them and then he he said something about it. Too. You're talking about the measurements? Yeah, no, but how they had a two-tone like that with the orange. The fade, the fade away. Yeah. So he would Gary the brush would uh, would would blend different shades. Say he like the yeah. blue, like the Mako shark, right? See, the blend was in. Right, the blend was in. He did it a sixteenth apart. Oh really? A sixteenth. The shade would go like this, and a sixteenth of a line. Would, let's say the bottom of the car is white, right, for the bottom of the Mako Shark, and then it's going to fade into a blue on the top, and it's going to go through some changes of gray and silver. It was a 16th. Yeah. That's how he would change the color every 16th. So when you looked at it, the, the fade was so perfect. It looked natural. Kind of like... Uh, What's his name? The guy that uh, just well, that passed away, uh, Lavalley, that did the the real McNally. flames, right? Or John McNally. John, what's his name? John McNally, McNally did the McNally. flames. I, I used to watch him pinstripe. Mm -hmm. The guy mixed the paint in his mouth. Really? He put it in the palm of his hand, put the brush, and had paint all over his tongue, and go whoosh, down the car, and the line was perfect. He was straight as an arrow. But we had him, uh, Rabco Marine in St. Pete, mm -hmm. Randy Ravy, who was the water skier. Uh, Randy had him come in and he did a bunch of boats, but he did a bunch of Model A's and Model G's. Uh, um, and I watched him paint. And that's when they did all the space looking shit, you know. And he would do all the little and go around the other side and make it look exactly like this side. Yeah, that's Which, hard to do. That's by God the hardest thing on earth. Right. Uh, uh, McDolly, he used to come out for like $25 and they had the car clean. He would nail it out in about 15 minutes, collect his money, get in the car and drive away. Yeah. But he did a bunch of cars. That year started with a seven or, or older, right? <laughs> he, he, he. But this guy, he, he should be dead. He mixed all the colors in Paul's hand, <laughs> yeah. and I, then put it in his mouth and make it wet. And, and, and he was spitting paint while he was doing it. And you put that thing on there and you're going, shit, he did it every day that way. It was really bizarre. I watched him several times. Paint. Remember the, that uh, 35 Ford coupe that I had? Yep, yep, yep. That guy did it by hand. Can we, can we put the uh, the hood down and we'll take a look at some of the, the paperwork? See, and this is the other thing, too. It's another, no, it goes by itself. This is what it goes, yeah. But anyway, it's got that. And then I'll have have you open that because I don't want to spill it all. Okay. So this is the case file. This is what I had found and I kind of just got to a point where I tried to find like the 
you know, these things mm -hmm. to find out where it was from. This is a car invoice from 66, maybe? No, it's 69. Uh, 69. Baldwin. Oh, very faint there. Well, it's just that I had right. all the stuff that was done. I mean, it was, it was just, it was a lot of stuff that I was trying to find from people. People sent me. Do you have anything that actually goes to the car itself? Nuh-uh. No. Because then you'd always look for that gas tank, you know. And, you know, you know the... So this is all just publications and stuff that would give you enough education on this car just to... to keep trying. Right, to keep finding stuff. I do see some pictures here. What like, year was that at, by any chance, some of the stuff here? I was just trying to find out when it was doing I see some photos. I don't oh, want yeah. the wind okay, to blow away. Okay, there's some of the stuff, too, of... Oh, that was another one, I think. That was just another... Oh, okay. Just notes and cards and whatnot. Yes. Okay. All sorts of stuff. People, okay, there was... I never did find out what that was. That was part of the paperwork that was in it. Part of the paperwork that was in it? So it's just some crumbled papers? Well, it is some stuff from it. There's no doubt it could have been the build sheet or something, too. Oh, okay. Is it unlegible? No, there's the number of that. I remember, I think that was right. there. Right. Probably got worse through the years. Uh, I don't know. Here's some of the. Oh, there's Baldwin. All right, Joel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so I tried to get stuff here. I tried to. Get and so, you've. Here, here was the car. That's when you obtained that's it. When, well, after that, somebody else had the pictures there. See in there. All right. Yeah, has the I brackets mean, on it. Okay, here too. I don't know if that would have been the, you know, the license plate. I don't know why they would have had it otherwise. You know. Mm -hmm. Look at that. But that was the license plate. Yeah. I and that was know. out of what state? Don't Pennsylvania. Know. Don't know. Oh, so you don't know if that was the tag? But why would they have the pictures in here of this? All this oh, seat? oh, there I was see. the interior. Okay. And I took these seats out. Right. And you still have those seats? No. see all these other ones here that they have I, I have no idea right it's it's definitely not easy to verify these cars without joel's help no and then the problem is i just wonder still is what if this one was wrecked bad enough to maybe get something different changed and mm -hmm. i don't know right so if it was you know like that they'd gone down to different things they had checked to see you know about the car and everything like that did somebody change it over you know from a different frame maybe the frame was done something different could you open that and we'll take a peek at that i'm just curious of that's the only thing that was in the car that was actually oh shit that was the all-state one also come on wind Oh, yeah, it's completely yeah, it's now. gone. They might. And then this guy here too, you know, I had this year came with it, so I don't know if it was in the car. Right, because he may be a person that could tell you maybe. information on the car. Oh, thank you, sir. Appreciate hey, that. Hey, Johnny, the yeah. That's the. That's, what it is, huh? that's where I found it at too. Oh, really? Yeah. I just, put it, I just put it like ten minutes before you. Yeah. This car. This. I've e I've emailed I emailed uh, Counts Customs in Vegas because he's a he loves these cars. You should call him. Honestly. He knows a lot about him. That's the, that's the guy you should really call because that's the guy that has the money, and the shop, and the connection with Joel to get this car where it needs to be. That's who should own this car. Now, whether he wants to buy it or not, I don't know. I sent him an email yesterday. Because okay. Gas Monkey wouldn't do something like this. Would they? Would they probably... Gas Monkey, I don't think this is up their alley as much as it is, uh, you know, Counts Customs. He's really into the vets. He's into the 70s muscle car vibe. Oh, so it's that show or something? It's a TV show, yeah. he has. Uh, it's called Counts Customs in Vegas. But yeah, but like Gas Monkey, he bought they, one of these. They do a lot of flipping too. They don't yeah. Free yeah, you could also call Gas Monkey. I mean, there's a million car My people. Guess is Richard would flip this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but Counts, you say he would take this on and do it. Right. 
Yeah, the guy at Counts would buy it and, and probably keep it in his collection. I don't think he would want to flip it. Yeah. I think he would he would cherish it for what it what it is. Then, yeah. then you just wonder if they buy it if it wasn't real, you know, just because it's everything else has been done at that year. I don't know. You just don't know. They wouldn't if it's not real. They wouldn't buy it. Yeah. That's for sure. You would have to go through authentication, which. Uh, you know, I would I would say if I was a buyer, let's say I'm, uh, you know, Counts Customs, whoever's in charge over there buying this car, the first thing that I would do is I would I would say to you, let's pay Joel two thousand yeah. dollars. If the car is real, then I'll pay the two thousand dollars. If it turns out to be fake, then you pay a thousand, I pay a thousand, and we paid a thousand dollars for an adventure and we move on with our lives. That's what I would do if I was a serious buyer with it, because that's the only way. That you can go in deep. And how much are you asking for the car again? Nineteen and a half. Nineteen and a half. So even as a clone, I think it's worth nineteen and a half as a clone. He's got a four. He's got with a, the four twenty seven. Four twenty seven. That's all over that all with the four speed. It goes in it. I'm gonna tell you like. I buy I buy a lot of cars and I look for a lot of cars, and I know when cars are low and I think this one is low at nineteen five. I had a guy. Uh, with a 68 or 69 Roadrunner. I found him on Facebook Marketplace. He wanted like five grand. The car was solid as a rock. Had an engine in it. Hadn't ran in like 20 years. I knew that either it was a, a scam or this guy didn't know what he had. Within a day, he had changed the price to 20 grand. I, I got, they contacted me, the people that were selling the car for him, and said, yeah, we didn't know what we had. We had to up the price. We had so many people hitting on Facebook Marketplace that we had to up the price because we couldn't let it go. And I think that that's what you're going to be doing with this. If it turns out to be real, if you, if you paid the two grand to Joel Rosen and it was real, the car would go to 40 to 50 grand. So you would make 20 to 30 grand off of a two grand investment if it's real. So let's say you were going to the casino. If you put two grand into the machine, you might get thirty or forty out, or you might not. Yeah, what you know the whole key to the casino is: you put money in the machine, don't pull the handle. They bring you free drinks. You get fucking hammered. You hit cash out. You put the money in your pocket and leave. Done. <laughs> They're like, "Hey, bud, uh, you've been here eight hours." <laughs> yeah, I'm hammered. I'm good. It's free. Drinks are twenty bucks. Oh, you're making. Yeah, see, here's all awesome. the rest of this stuff, too. The, you know, the pictures of the stuff that was yeah. also in it. And then there was also the... You know, I've got it here. But I've got... It's also the air cleaner. Right. I saw that in the picture. Did you see it in there? Okay, right. Okay, that. And then the valve covers uh -huh. are, you know, the original type, too. Have you matched the engine number? Well, the yeah. engine number wouldn't match the car because the car would have came with a 350. Yeah. Maybe a 454 and 69? In 69? It would, been, it would have been 350. You think so? Okay. I don't know that much about vets, factory vets, to know that if they, they would have or not. But, yeah, it definitely wouldn't have came with the 427 in 69, I don't think. I could be wrong on that, too, though. I mean, I'm still learning. Check out these vents here in the front. Oh, yeah, there's the air cleaner. Right. And that's all, you know, the chrome air cleaner for the three-barrel. And then mm -hmm. they got the... Yeah, those valve covers are worth like fifteen hundred to two grand when they're real. The air cleaner is like five hundred, especially if you can prove it's real. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I mean, he's Joel Rosen's got that seventy green uh, motion car. I don't know if you ever seen that. It was real famous. I own the uh, front cowl off of it, but you can't. I mean, that's the only part of a mo motion. Yeah, yeah, lighting them up. Man, what a cool 55 Chevy, huh? Yeah, there's the cross member. And they got something in those boxes. We got a fan shroud. We got some A-arms that have been drilled. You can see they're lightened up quite a bit. Definitely. Definitely lightened up the A-arms. Got some spindles. Drive shaft. 
and we've got one more looks like a repop neck here because it's a little too shiny inside there but yeah that's the new one that's the newer one on that's, uh, and then one on the car is original and this is an extra back glass it looks like oh yeah I guess, I guess it could be no it's tinted so it definitely got to be the back yeah. all right cool and uh sway bar and that's the one piece uh see-through top oh yeah has a little fasteners in there All right, guys, so I'm going to get back to work. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment. Let me know if you think that's a real car or not. Is that a real motion performance car, or is it a old-school clone? Let me know. I think it's real. I don't know. I'm going to do some research on it, and I'll get back to you guys. Bye now.